All right. Uh, the check digit for your response question here, part A. And uh, we have a class, a single class here with check digit. And um, they have a method that gets you the correct check digit. And then you have a method um, that you have to do like is valid. And they pass in a number, which has a number part and then the check digit on the end, which is always the rightmost digit. Okay, so I had to read through this a couple times to even make sense of what they're saying here. But the idea is that you're going to pass in a number like 1592. Okay, and then the, the digit on the end, um, you're going to get with mod, right? Mod 10 will be that last digit. And then you want to call this get check method which will get you the, the correct check digit. And then you want to say, is the digit on the end, does that match the digit returned by the get check, right? So the get check will do some sort of formula to figure out the right check digit. And then you have to check, is the last digit in the number equal to the number returned by that method? So that was a little confusing to me because I thought you, you, know, you just do mod two but that'll get the last digit, but it's not guaranteed to be the right check digit. You have to compare that against um, the get check um, with, his, with his just the first part of the number. So it looks like when you call get check, you don't call it with the whole number. You call it with just um, everything except the last digit. So probably just do a divide by 10 um, when you call the get check um, for uh, the input num. Right, so like as an example, if they passed in this number, you'd want to call get check with the 159, right? So you do mod 10, call it, and get that check number, store it somehow, and then compare it against the last digit in the number, which you can get with mod 10. And if those are equal, you return true. If they're not, return false. All right, so again, to demo how to do this on the actual AP test, um, you could just open up a, a WordPad document and type it right in there. Um, if you want to use Eclipse, um, again, you could just type the, the method heading, right? Um, or what I tried to do is I tried to get this whole class. So I highlighted this part and copied it. And then made a new file in Eclipse here. So I think this one is called Check digit. The downside of this is this takes a little bit of time. So this one is called check digit. And then I'm going to paste the code in here. Okay, and then there's a little part of the code that actually ran onto the next page. But uh, I don't know if I can grab that part too, I guess. So this ran onto the next page, which is a little more of a pain. but. I think I can just copy that, paste it in here. Okay, and then to get the, to all look nice, I'm gonna do Control A and then source correct indentation and it looks kind of normal, somewhat. Okay, so they're not gonna show us how get check works, but we're gonna definitely have to use it in part A here. Okay, so the first thing is, um, I need two things, I need the, the rightmost digit um, which is using mod 10. So I'm going to do int last digit or whatever. And then I'm going to do the number coming in. So the number with the check digit. So again, that has both parts, right? So if it was the example they gave there, 1592, the, we just want to get the two. Okay, so I'm going to do mod 10 and that'll get me that last digit two. And then I want to get the correct check digit. Okay, and that, it might not be this last digit, but that's going to come from calling the method up here. Right, so I'm going to call get check. Right, and then the only thing is, I don't want to pass in this full num with, did num with check digit. I'm not going to do that because if you look at the example, we want to call it with everything except the last digit. Right, so in order to do that, uh, I have to do divide by 10. So call that, so that's the correct digit. And now I just want to return if the correct, nah, maybe I should do it this way, if the last digit is equal to the correct 
check digit. Then I want to return true. Else, if it's not, I want to return false. Okay, so the tricky part to me there is to figure out what two digits I'm checking, right? And I'm checking with mod 10 to get the one, and then I'm calling that method to get the correct one, and then comparing the one that's actually there with the correct one, and then returning true or false based on that. All right, hopefully that helps for part A again. For my students, you have to turn this in, so you can copy and paste the code in an email, save this file, send it to me, or if you'd written it out, take a picture and turn it in that way. All right, part B is one of those weird ones, again, where you have to like write out the changes. Um, there'll be another video explaining that. For the changes, I don't usually type them out in Eclipse because it's you have to write sort of a paragraph, and that doesn't show up great in Eclipse. So I would use some sort of text editor, a Google Doc, a um, WordPad if you're on a, um, on a PC. All right, so that's coming next.